All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And we still there here because we still get a lot in store for Ona. I believe so, and I don't enjoy him. If you don't deal with me from the beginning, we don't finish our top stories. We don't look into the newspaper headlines. And Ezugu Chukudi was there with me to go through all that. And I believe, say, a lot of us don't get all the information we need to get from the newspapers as it may. Well, I promise on our better interviews via Skype. And uh, our first guest, who we talk to now, you know, as we know, if we bring our guest come studio due to the coronavirus pandemic, we decide to do our conversations via the internet. Our first guest is is Wumi Tolu Alalade, an uh, educationist. And uh, Sapphire Exploits Educational Educator Conference uh, is an educational program uh, purposely established for uh, young people. Well, we, we get the first way they move this whole movement. Good morning, madam, and welcome to the show today. Good morning. All Thank right. you for having me. All right. It's, it's good to be here. It's good to be here. Well, the whole idea is that we usually do this as a tradition on the show to always ask our guests how they are doing because we know there's a pandemic and we like to have the honest uh, response to this. So honestly, how are you doing? Well, I'm good. We, I would say we thank God for the pandemic in, such, in a way that uh, it has brought out the positives in us. Hmm. We've been shying away from going e and going online and in the education sector, it has been a conversation for some time now. But we thank God say uh, this pandemic has pushed us to just go in. And I like that. Everybody is uh, getting. <laughs> I like that. I, I, I like the way you put it, that it has pushed us to go to that direction because we've been, we've been reluctant in a way to see, uh, you know, the internet space as a way to actually push uh, the economy forward. But hey, we're here now. And uh, do you ever think we're going to return to the former normal or this is our new normal? What do you think about that? I think this is the new normal and uh, everybody that wants to be known or that wants to be outstanding, that wants to make a difference or impact, I've got to adopt, adapt this new normal. I don't think everything will go back to the way it was. I, I doubt it. And um, even if you see young children, children of like uh, six, five, you see them with their devices now, learning online and trying to do one thing or the other, we should all just key in and come, you know, aligned with this new normal. So as, as, as an educationist, do you think this online learning is something that would really, really, you know, um, um, connect with our students or with our kids? Looking at uh, what we are used to, the traditional, the conventional kind of learning process that we used to, do you think online learning would actually do justice uh, as much as uh, the traditional um, medium of learning was before? Yeah, look, talking about the traditional medium of learning, it used to be very rigorous, cumbersome, mm -hmm. no, very lack some bit of fun. But with the e-learning platform that we're using now, you have you can reach as many students as you can. There's no borders. It's not limited to just people around you. You can go worldwide. <laughs> the world is a global village now. And um, as the, an education is, the, the world is just at your fingertips. And you have so many tools that you can use, that you can so many approaches, many strategies, many tools, technical, uh, technological tools that can be used. Now. And that is part of what we're going to be having conversations around during the oncoming uh, Sapphire Expert 21st Century Skills Forum uh, web conference coming mm -hmm. up on Saturday. We want everyone to be familiar and be used to the practical tips. You know, there's practicality in doing things and in the theory, the theoretical part. I want yeah. to show educators, parents as well, uh, how to actually move this new normal because it's not that it's a uh, skill so that you can perform well in the um, new normal that we find ourselves. And e learning is here to stay, mm -hmm. there's no going back. So, um, yeah, it's, in it's quite interesting that we're talking about this right now, seeing the fact that this is what uh, the pandemic has made the world tilt to, and seeing that we have to learn online, we have to get uh, used to the fact that this is the way forward now. Uh, so speaking about the Sapphire Exploits 21st Century Skill um, Educators Forum, uh, you can just give us a brief run-through about it so that people who are watching can understand what it's all about. Yes, thank you. The Sapphire Exploit 21st Century Skills Educators Forum came about some few years ago mm -hmm. um, after my, uh, being exposed to some basic skills training by the British Council. 
So I, I was like, it's not possible for everybody to go on that training or to be opportune to take part or partake in that training. So I decided, along with some few other colleagues, that we should form a forum or a platform where others can share best practices and we can share with them what we have learned mm -hmm. and also ensure that these things are being implemented at schools and that the integration of skills, 21st century skills, in our delivery as educators is very paramount. I started using the skills, I started integrating it, and it was a fantastic and um, uh, tremendous uh, outcomes for my, children, my students and everyone around me. So I knew that if I don't use this, uh, this uh, forum, the creative forum, so that people can come in and collaborate, network, and also share their tips to others. You know, we have a lot of people struggling to integrate all the skills in their teaching and learning. It's not that easy. Some people just say, I oh, want to collaborate today, so we are doing collaboration. No, it's not like that. There are ways that you embed this into your teaching yeah. and into your delivery that brings outcomes that uh, make your students to be ready for the work for future life because we're not going back to uh, the old times. All that we need to uh, uh, focus on now is to ensure that whatever learners we're preparing or we're teaching, they can uh, you know, be still comfortable. They can make, make up their form things. They are able to think critically and solve problems that abound around us now. Mm -hmm. Every day there are new issues rising up and we need to, to you know, have students that will graduate and they'll be able to first class or good grade, a good grade only, but they must be able to fit in perfect into the world out there. There's digital literacy and everybody needs to be compliant with um, the way to know my digital devices to in a positive Okay, so looking at it, uh, I realize that uh, this uh, forum is majorly um, focused on the educators. So uh, uh, why, did you, why did you decide to create this forum for the educators, seeing the fact that, okay, uh, we could have just done it to, to, we'd have just gone straight for the students, but now you're looking at the educators. Why was it so necessary to set up a forum for them? Yes, uh, the educators are very important. And um, I started using educators, you know, we call ourselves teachers. And I, I was like, no, let's call ourselves a name that we feel so proud to be uh, a teacher and somebody imparting knowledge. Mm -hmm. So when you, you focus on one educator, you are focusing on thousands of children. Because True. by the time that educator's uh, mindset and uh, thinking and everything about the person is totally changed and influenced, you'll be able to meet those children that are all over or that that person meets uh, or impact at the end of the day. So looking at focusing on only children in a particular school, you know, being a child in a school that I used to work, I used to focus so much on my students, on my own class, I'm, I, was, I was a science teacher. But at the end of the day, having this platform has given me the opportunity to reach the whole world. We have people from all across Nigeria joining us on the platform. We have the WhatsApp page, we have Facebook page, mm -hmm. we have a Telegram page, we have the Instagram. So we have people from across all boards. Even the last um, the series one, we had teachers from the UK coming to share experiences you know, without borders, without coming in. They came in via Zoom and we were all together and it was a wonderful time. Mm -hmm. So this time around as well, we're, we're, we're going to focus on educators, but we're adding parents. So with the pandemic, everybody has become educators because that day our mom is now, they have to to the learning of their children mm -hmm. because we have home-based learning going on right now because of the pandemic and that is why it is not only educators that we're expecting this time we want even our parents to of course register and commit to be a part of the uh, webinar interesting uh you made mention it's good that uh, you are taking into consideration the parents also because uh, they have they play a very major role in uh, in educating the kids right now that all the children are at home they should learn how to do it well and do it right now you're speaking about the people who will be speaking on that day uh can you give us a run through of who to expect uh, who is going to, the kind of people who are going to be speaking on this uh, this conference and i see that it's a series so can you tell us how that's going to yes. go through Yes, this is series two, and we have uh, experts in their field 
something that I'll be discussing and of course facilitating on that day. Let me begin with the e-learning approaches. That will be handled by a Casio uh, uh, master trainer. Okay. Good luck, Ayadi. He will be coming in to talk about how we can practically integrate technology and, of course, leverage on technology as mm -hmm. we go online and doing e-learning. We also have a, an inclusive education expert, Mrs. Dotsunga Kondé. Mm -hmm. She's a well-known person in, when you talk about institutions. I think she's the owner of Saint, uh, the CEO of St. Patrick. And um, she has been in this field for quite a number of years. And she has the experience and the wherewithal to let us to teach us how to we can integrate this business. You know, inclusive education has been a conversation not only in Nigeria, even as the world at large. And it has not been easy factoring that into e learning. Any yeah. many countries we're having issues with trying to make the learning delivery online inclusive. So we're going to have practices from our understanding. And the last person that will be doing the major facilitation is a medical doctor, a health, uh, a public health specialist, a gynecologist, mm -hmm. a, or one of the founders of Ask the Gynecologist on Facebook. is an award-winning uh, platform uh, worldwide, and um, it's well known. He's going to be talking about safety guidelines that we can follow. How we can we, we are about practicality. It will give you a breakdown of how you, as your students, you know the exam class they are going to come in for their exam very soon. Yes. So they, they are, we, are, we need to know how we can guide the children the right way, even us as parents, people generally. How do we live in this mm -hmm. world of COVID uh, that we have, we are in now? Yeah. And then we have the experience sharing uh, session, which will be handled by policymakers like the General Permanent Secretary, Education District One, which is. Uh, this is Shola, Shola mm -hmm. is a well versed one of the is the oldest uh, uh, how do I call it? She's the most senior to the to general permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education. She's okay. gonna be sharing her experiences post COVID and even during COVID, how she was able to change and adapt yeah. soon as she is a, uh, a, a top level policymaker. Then we have school owners, people that are in school, or, uh, owners of school, how have they done it? Yeah. You know, we have so many school owners crying and the teachers crying now that they have lost their job, they don't have anything. There are ways to this. There are people surviving. You need to come on and hear from them and even ask questions concerning that. We have the provost of Thai Shulari College of Education. Okay. He's going to come and talk to us and share with us how we can, you know, as teacher trainers, you know, there are teachers in training. Yes. And they also need to know the ways about all the, the new changes that we have now. Then we've got people from, like um, the CEO of um, Wazobia FM. I know she's a prominent person when we talk about um, our influence during this COVID era. She has participated in so many, uh, supported so many initiatives. I want people to get someone like her, Diana, that they can know how they can support, support everyone. Uh, I think I'm losing your Sorry. audio a bit. C can you hear Am me? Am I good now? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, yes, please go yes, ahead. Yes, I can. Yes, I can hear you now. So, private sector, we're bringing on Ms. Tatiana Mosuli so that she will come and talk to people how she's able to influence. Because I know as a passionate person, mm -hmm. the parent, and she's concerned about every aspect of our of economy. And uh, she has done a lot. She has supported the education, she has supported the legal state government and so many other things. It's still not health facilities that people can be um, taken care of during the pandemic mm -hmm. and, uh, period. And I want uh, people to come on and ask questions and learn from her and invite a good uh, work of such someone like that in our private sector. And we and a host of others. Like um, the Honorable Commissioner for Education is a matriarch of this platform. We switch starting up of this platform was not something he didn't start. The idea we, we talked about it together. We also supported it in so many ways. She is gonna be keynoting on that day. Then okay. we have the permanent secretary legal secretary of education coming to share our good messages as our special guest so that we, we all know what the same thing now as regards to resumption, so that we don't just hear from newspaper or yeah. read from, sorry, read guys and just make um, uh, assumptions. Assumptions. Let's hear the facts from, from the hospital.
Interesting. Yeah. So it's it's like it's it's a total uh, package put together that can cover all aspects uh, re regarding. And you know, it's a quite a, a very important place for learning as it is. We see that the caliber of people who are coming in to speak and uh, how far or the, how much wealth of knowledge they will be uh, chunking out on the day. So we see that this is going to be happening on Zoom. Uh, it's going to be happening via Zoom, right? So because it's a uh, it's an e it's a webinar as it's as it may be called. It's going to be happening on Zoom. And what days do we expect this to be happening? Because I see that there are a couple of days. So what days is this supposed to be happening? The Series 2 is coming on on Saturday, which is 25th July. Okay. And it's starting at 1 p.m. Yeah. The links will be shared to, will be sent to all that registers. And um, they will also have um, a certification system at the end of it because oh. it will become an era where people will be asked to agree being part of any training mm -hmm. or they allow them to do some stuff because they want to know do you have skills? Do you are you have you improved on yourself? Have you developed yourself professionally, personally? Mm -hmm. they want to impact learning. And may I mention that we also have us and supporting us in this venture. We have the Casio company, they from the EU, they supported us with the Zoom platform and it can accommodate as many as one thousand participants. So we have room for all, so it's not that um, we are having small uh, uh, package. No, we are we are ready for you. Yeah. We're waiting for everyone to register, and then we we have uh, the support of the school kit limited. They are into uh, equipment materials that you use in in the school. They supply everything. They are well known with, with all private school owners. So we want people from the private sector, the public sector, missionary. Even the last time we had. Many people from uh, across the country, from missionary schools, joining us in the webinar during the last. So the set, the third series will be coming up. Twenty August. Okay. Are you hearing? Yes, me? I can hear you. Twenty second of August. That's the third series. Yes, third series. So if you cannot be part of this series, so just be sure to join us. Uh, the next, the last series, which is on twenty second of August, but this one is going live on Saturday. And um, it will be such an interesting time. Uh, please don't miss it. Just come on and let us celebrate, collaborate, and let us network for quality delivery of education in our sector. Interesting, interesting. This has been very, very insightful, and I believe that uh, everyone who has watched this, uh, they would, would definitely want to plug in and uh, get knowledge, and we would be really educated. And the good thing is that, like you said, they're going to be giving a certificate at the end of that. So that is something that you would want to walk away with and say, yes, I am certified from uh, this uh, certain seminar I had, and this is the qualifications I have uh, after that. Well, thank you very much for this conversation. I was hoping that uh, the webinar would definitely, uh, you know, uh, impact. Uh, the, 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 the educational space as uh, you intend it to impact it. Thank you very much for this conversation, Wumi. Thank you a lot. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.